Hi friends, this is Kundan from kundanstake.com. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your computer using a system restore point. A system restore point is a point of time where all the Windows system files and settings are saved. And why you should you should use a system point or system restore point is because in case if your Windows gives you trouble afterwards, then you can always return back to the previous point of time when your Windows was working fine. So at first, in order to create a system restore point, make sure that at least you have 300 megabyte of space available in the disk where the Windows is installed. Okay, so how can you create a restore point? For creating a restore point, you can right click on this my computer icon and click on properties. Then go to the system protection okay this is the system properties window click on this configure button make sure that turn on system protection is enabled then click on this create button select the drive where the windows is installed so that you can create a restore point click on create okay now you can give a name for your system restore point you can just give any name which you like I can say like restore restore point and click on create now the system restore point is created system restore point doesn't affect your files and folders it will only affect the windows system files and the programs which you have installed Whenever you return back to the point of time when this is when the system restore point was created, all the programs which were installed after that it will be removed, but if for files and folders it will remain same. So we can see that the system restore point was created successfully. Now you can click and close, then OK. So in this way you can create a system restore point. And you can always use this system restore point to fix your windows when there is any error you can always choose a restore point and go back to the previous point when your windows was working fine so if you want to restore your computer to an early point of time then what you can do is you can just click on this system protection tab then click on the system restore icon tab you can see there is a recommended restore point of time that is on 4th 13th of April 2013 and this is the time if you want to restore the computer to this point of time you can just click on next or if you want to choose a different restore point which you have created yourself then click on this one then click on this next button you can see the, the restore point which we have just created is already here if you want to use this restore point of time just select if you want to see more restore points you can just click on this checkbox you can see other system restore points whichever you want to use just click on that then click on next then you can just click on this link to see what are the programs which will be affected by the system restore it will just start to scan the items which will be affected by the system restore point you will get a list of the programs it's always beneficial to create a system restore point when you have just freshly installed your windows and when you have finished installing all the drivers you can just create a restore point So we just created a system restore point and after that nothing, no program is installed. That's why it didn't show any programs which will be affected by the system restore point. Let's click and close. Suppose if you use the system restore point and click on next and click for this affected programs, you can see 
these are the list of programs which will be affected by the system restore so all these programs which you have installed after the system restore point was created this all will be removed Sh click and close so once you have selected the restore point just click on finish when you click on finish then the system starts to return back to the previous point of time and it will restart after the system is restored make sure that you have enough battery when you are using the system restore point or your laptop is connected to the AC adapter so that it's not interrupted while the system restore point is being uh, used that's all so in this way you can fix the computer if there is any problem you can just use the restore point and return back to the previous point of windows when it was working fine thanks for watching